So far in this meme debunking series, we've looked at a variety of silly memes from the depths of Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. But today I bring you a classic and one in which needed to be sorting for quite some time. This is another Flat Earth meme debunking. Hello all and welcome along to another Flat Earth Meme Debunking episode with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin with today's meme, I want to give a quick thank you to the sponsors of this video today, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs and businesses to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. Now, I've been busy working on the Run Man Down website, as you know, and I have to say the next generation website design system from Squarespace Fluid Engine means it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. And you can start with a best in class website template and customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. You can make any Squarespace template do what you want. So your idea, brand or business stands out online on any any device. Now as you all know, I mean I bang on about it enough, I'm an ultra runner and I absolutely love the outdoors and being in and around it, so this nature template was perfect for the website. I was able to customise the look a bit, update the content and then add features to fit my unique needs. This week I finally got the about section finished, which I actually turned into a race wish list page. It was an absolute breeze to do this and as you can see I've been adding the biggest races on this page told you a little bit about each one and a goal year to race it. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan to get 10% off your first purchase of any website or domain. Right on with today's video, which as I said at the start, is the sixth edition of the Flat Earth Meme Debunking videos. Today's meme, is an absolute classic. You must have seen it or a variation of it somewhere on social media and it is of course this one. Four wet tennis balls being spun and a load of water flying off them. But what are the flat earthers trying to say here with this meme? Let's take a closer look at it. So we've got four wet tennis balls being spun and water flying off them with a caption in the middle that says this is the only result of water on a ball that spins regardless of size, weight or scale. A mathematical calculation will not change that. And they're implying that if the water flies off a tennis ball, then it should fly off the earth as well if it was spinning. Well, of course it won't. And by the way, mathematics is what we use to figure out what is already going on. You're right about that. It changes nothing. You see, the water flies off a tennis ball like that because of its centripetal acceleration caused by its rotation. And that acceleration being greater than the gravitational acceleration exerted because of its mass. You don't have to take my word for it. Let's do some maths. So, tennis balls have a mass on average of around 58 grams, and they have a diameter of approximately 6.6 .6 centimeters. Now we know that to work out the gravitational acceleration exerted on that tennis ball, we use the formula G equals GM over R squared, where big G is the gravitational constant, M is the mass, and R is the radius. If we work this out and multiply the gravitational constant of 6.674 times 10 to the power of minus 11 by the mass of 0.058 kilograms, so 58 grams, and then divide all that by 0.033 meters squared, we get 0.0000000355 meters per second squared as the gravitational acceleration on the tennis ball. Now, to work out the centripetal acceleration at the surface of the spinning tennis ball, we use the formula A equals omega squared times R, where omega is the angular velocity in radians per second and R is the radius. So, if the tennis ball spins at a rotation of twice per second, which is generous by the way, then that means it has an angular velocity of around 12.5 radians per second. So we square that and multiply by the tennis ball's radius of 3.3 centimeters, and we get a centripetal acceleration of around 5.15 meters per second squared. Now that gives us a net acceleration of around 5.15 meters per second squared away from the tennis ball. So then it's no wonder that the water flies off it when it's rotated, is it? 
it's the exact result that you would expect. Now, what about the Earth by comparison then? Well, we already know that the Earth has a gravitational acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. So now we work out the centripetal acceleration like we did with the tennis ball. So the angular velocity of Earth is 7.3 times 10 to the minus five radians per second, which is of course 15 degrees per hour. And the radius is 6,378,000 meters. So we square that angular velocity and multiply with the radius and we get approximately 0.034 meters per second squared of centripetal acceleration. Now that gives us a net acceleration of around 9.77 meters per second squared towards the center of Earth. And that is why the water does not fly off Earth because the gravitational acceleration is much, 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 much stronger than the centripetal acceleration. Whew, what a cracking one that one was. As you can see, the result is entirely what we would expect. So this mean then proves nothing really other than how uneducated flat earthers are or how they don't do their own research like they say they do. So everyone, what do you all think of that one? I think we're done and debunked for another flat earth meme. Let me know in the comments how you thought that one went. And of course, if you see a flat earth meme whilst you're on your social media travels, then don't be afraid to copy that and send it to me at simonanddan at gmail.com and I'll put it in the list. Thanks so much for watching today. It is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that thumbs up button too. That would be very much appreciated. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, uh, visit squarespace.com for your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash and you get that 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I've been Simon and Dan. Have yourselves a cracking couple of days and I'll see you all on Friday for the return of the man himself, Mr. CC, Chris from New York, Westchester County. I cannot wait. See you then. <laughs>